Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I finally finished building my DIY CNC plasma table and looking back I definitely could have saved some time and money if I knew what I know now. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how not to waste $8,000 on a DIY CNC plasma table. Before we get into the details let's take a look at some of the highlights of my build process while I attempt to save you some time by telling you why you may not even need to watch all of this video. If you're looking for a plasma table for your business and you think building one will save you time or money, it won't. It will cost you just as much, if not more, to build a table worth having than it would to buy one of equal size and it will certainly take you far longer to build it than it would to assemble an off-of-the-shelf plasma table. If I've convinced you to go with an off-the-shelf plasma table, I'd recommend Langmuir Systems as I've heard lots of good things about their products. If you still want to build one for your business or just want to build a plasma table as a hobby and you've got the budget and the time, then this video is for you. The main issue that I had with this process was at square one. I started with plans that I found on YouTube from someone that I won't name and they turned out to be complete junk. You can check out my previous plasma table video for more specifics on what was wrong with them. It didn't take me very long to fix the problems with the designs I purchased which draws attention to how little effort was put into creating them. After these clips are finished playing, I've got a little bit of a message for the person who created the plans, if they're watching. It only took me a few hours to fix the problems that you ignored, and since you created the plans, it probably would have taken you even less time. If you had put that little bit more effort into what you're putting out, not only would you have the satisfaction of putting out a good product, but I guarantee you that people would have continued to buy this product over time instead of what's happening now where everyone starts to find out that it's not good and stops buying it. Not to mention, I wouldn't be making this video telling people not to buy it, I would probably be telling them that they should buy it because I had a good experience with it. This is the kind of thing that happens when you're more concerned with making a quick buck than you are with providing genuine value to the people who quite literally support your entire career. With that being said, I'm going to share with you the changes that I've made including DXF files and instructions for the improved designs. And I will share all of this with you completely for free. I'm doing this to help you guys so that you don't have to go through the struggle that I did. Or if you've already purchased these same plans, you have a better solution that will work with some parts that you may have already purchased. I'll share with you later on in the video where you can access this information. But first, let's get to assembling the new gantry design. Here's the first side of the gantry all tacked up. Now I'm going to tack up the other side while I tell you a bit more about it. This modified design fixes problems that I had like the DXF files I purchased being poorly designed which caused quite a few issues including positioning the gantry beam too low to the table where it could hang up on cutoffs that tip up as they're cut. I also added into my design pre-threaded holes which will save you time and money on broken taps. Ask me how I know. Once the left and the right pieces are completed, they get welded onto a gantry beam and you're ready to move on to assembling the mechanical parts of the gantry. So here's how this works. I've created a free course inside of my free school community centered around fabrication, which I will link in the description down below. There you will find a course titled CNC Plasma Table under the classroom tab, which will contain a written list of parts a link to a private YouTube video for more in-depth instructions, and a link to the Send, Cut, Send marketplace where you can simply press order, and they will send you all the parts for the gantry that you saw me assemble in this video. I want to be completely clear. You do, of course, have to pay for the parts that it takes to build this table. What I'm offering to you guys for free is the plans and the information on what you need to do that. I don't make any money off of the parts that are linked in the school course. 
The only thing that I do make a small percentage off of is the Everlast Welders affiliate link that I have, which you can find down in the description of this video, as well as in the school course. I would really appreciate you guys supporting the channel in this way. If you do need a plasma cutter or a welder, even if you don't use my link, a piece of equipment like this from Everlast is a no-brainer. They're far more affordable than any other plasma cutter I've seen on the market. And so far, this Power Plasma 62i has been absolutely flawless. The CNC package, of course, includes a machine torch. It also comes with this universal plug to wire to your electronic system that plugs right into the back of the plasma cutter. One of my favorite features on this Power Plasma 62i is the air pressure light, which tells you when you're right in the right spot, if you're too low, or if you're too high. Another resource that I highly recommend using is the person who built my electronics package. Vince is an expert with years of experience, and although it isn't the cheapest option, I owe a lot of my success with this plasma table to Vince's product. Once again, I get no kickbacks from Vince or his product if you purchase it. It's really just that good. He has really nailed down a system that is simple, reliable, and effective in operating a CNC machine. My electronics package came with everything I needed, including detailed instructions, and operated flawlessly right off the bat. Having one less thing to troubleshoot on its own made this worth the money. I have listed Vince's email in the course in my school community. I highly recommend reaching out to him and letting him know that I sent you. Another awesome feature of joining my school community is that there will be a dedicated category for the CNC plasma table build where you can post your progress and ask questions to other people, including myself, who may be building a very similar plasma table. Not to mention, once you're done with your DIY CNC plasma table, you can remain in the group to share your other projects and your fabrication journey with other fabricators. If you think you may want to build your own DIY CNC plasma table, but you're still not sure, please join the school community from the link in the description. Take a look at the plans and contact me with any questions or concerns before you commit to purchasing any parts for something that you're not sure is right for you. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that I see you around the channel. And if you're interested in learning more about what's involved in building a DIY CNC plasma table, check out one of these videos that I made earlier throughout my process.